Previously on The Guitologist. Hello, boys and girls. Brad, The Guitologist here. In today's video, we're going to take this little Fanon Masco reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder and turn it into a smoking little guitar amp. What we have here, is this the microphone? Yeah, we got a microphone. This has got some issues, this little microphone. Okay, all right. It's got to be uh, probably crystal, a little crystal microphone. It's hot and very low-fi. Check one, two. Yes, yeah, since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. Down at the end of the lonely street at Heartbreak Hotel. <laughs> I like it. It kind of sounds kind of sounds cool. It's got a very low-fi quality. I bet it would be a good uh, good little heart mic. I think I might put a new end on this. Fix it up a bit. I don't think that's quite quarter inch. Here's a quarter inch jack, and that doesn't really fit in there. That's like a okay. So I thought this was interesting. Uh, this microphone that was with that fan and masco tape recorder that i converted so this microphone is actually a it's not a crystal microphone it's a it's a magnetic so this is a dynamic uh mic very similar to the ones that you would see coming from like sure like if you open up a uh sm57 58 you know it's kind of the same sort of thing so i thought that was kind of interesting so i put another end on this so i'd be able to use it this thing sounded pretty pretty cool actually it's got a it's got its own kind of sound for sure. I think the sound of this thing is being influenced by, uh, and I might have to do something with this too because this is kind of flopping free. But this isn't. This is not badly made, surprisingly. It's got a screen. It's got the outer screen, but it also has an inner screen, and it has a rubber gasket here. And then it's got this little piece that keeps you from. I, I guess keeps this from moving around. Yeah, I think this is it's basically here to protect from rubbing against anything else. It's just it's giving it rigidity. It's supposed to be. But I wonder, I have to wonder whether or not it would be better off without this thing in the center because that right there would be this would actually be blocking some of the some of the sound. I think I might modify this. Yeah, I think I want to keep the ring, but I want to get rid of all this middle bit cuz that to me that's not that's not doing it any favors. I'm going to try it. Hell with it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Oops. Oh, I'll get to use my wooden mallet. Okay, this is going to be tricky to get back in here. I'll tell you what, this uh, this capsule is is heavy. This is heavy. Get a little bit of extra cord. Pull it out. I've got I really need to secure this down here before I do anything else. I think this is a job for probably for hot glue. Or no, you know what? I'm gonna use this glue. I'm gonna use this stuff. This is pretty good stuff. But it takes a while to cure. That's the only problem. So this'll this will have to wait. Okay, so we're gonna let that cure for a little while, and then we'll get it back in here. I'm, I'm probably gonna, like I said, do something to the inside of this back capsule, uh, this case as well. Um, right now, that looks like there's a piece of, uh, is that cork? Looks like, I mean, they did this all right, man. It's a piece of cork back there that's supposed to uh, hold this, but I, I might add another piece of cork just to make sure that it goes together real tight. 
and uh, cannot possibly fall out because when I got this it was in here kind of crooked so I mean we don't I don't want that I don't want it to be crooked in here I'm gonna add just a little bit more glue we'll let that glue cure and then we'll come back to this One, two, check, check, check. So you can hear how much noise there is with this thing. Uh, it's not shielded or anything like that. Well, right now it's open, so obviously it's not shielded, but this plastic back is not shielded. There's no shielding inside of it. And also, it's not a balanced uh, output. So don't want to break I was getting some problems a second ago so I had to open it back up so I'm gonna tr yeah I'm gonna turn my overhead mic on here okay <clears throat> so I'm gonna try to uh, try to touch up these solder joints without screwing this up it's gonna be Probably easier said than done. These are really delicate. And then just to improve it that much further, I'm going to try to also, without breaking anything, I'm going to try to uh, line the inside of this with some shielding. Now, why am I doing this? I really don't know, honestly. <laughs> I just got to do this very carefully. I'm just going to touch up these. Just touch them on there. I think I had a. Uh... Oop, oop. This is really, really delicate. So tiny, these wires. You know what? I'm not going to attempt fate on that. See if we can get it back in like it is. up so you can get the full effect. Shit. 
Yeah, the transformer got sideways somehow. Let's get rid of my overhead. So this is my 87. So I wonder, okay, so if you had this into a tape recorder, I mean, you get a real proximity effect with this thing because it's a dynamic, it's a dynamic mic. Uh, so you really wouldn't get very much far away. But if you crank, I imagine a lot of the recordings that were made with this sounded about like this, where somebody was too far away to get good signal. Check one, two. One, two, three. But if you get right up on it, though, the problem is you get the all the pops and shit, and the, you know. Okay, this is EQ'd straight up and down. Check one, two. Testing one, two, three. You can stomp on my balls, smack on my face, <laughs> drag my old lady all over the place. You can burn my house, <laughs> steal my. <laughs> one, two, baby. One, two, baby. If I pull on the cord the wrong way, it stops. Why? Why is it doing that? Probably wasted enough time with this, haven't we? We got trouble. Right here in River City. With a capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. That stands for pool. Stars appear and a shadow is a falling. You can hear my heart call. Okay, actually, I fixed this thing now. Okay, you can hear there's no noise. I can even hold up to a light and there's no noise. There was an issue with the grounding. It wasn't properly grounded before. Check, check, check. One, two. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. A long, lonely time. It's not bad. It really isn't. Since I've gotten the shielding in there, it's really not bad. Just trying to EQ it a little bit. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Test, test, test. So I'm real satisfied with that. That's cool. Another mic for my collection. Collection. My collection. <laughs>